Okay, so this video is about adding um, weapons to the animated characters. Um, in, in particular, these are the polygon animated char er, characters from Cinti. Um, and so you can see here I've got my wizard from the fantasy character set equipped here. Do a quick run. You can see how they look when animated with the, um, what is it, the uh, Kevin Iglesias basic animations. Okay, so it's pretty good. All right, I can switch my models and you can see how it looks with some of the different ones. Okay, but I do not currently have any of my dungeon characters equipped. All right, so here's how, uh, here's how we do it. All right, so first off, I'm gonna switch my view from between my sets. So we're on my dungeon set here, I'm gonna switch to scene mode. All right, and now, the character has uh, the animated character has a root. Now this is not the skeleton's root. This is the animated root down here. This is the root that comes with the character prefab. All right. So if we look at the polygon models, um, these prefabs. Okay. Here we go. Um, these prefab objects have a root object inside of them. All right. So that's the that's the part that you're going to modify. If you put it in the skeleton root, nothing happens. All right, so we want to modify our root. Okay, um, and so I've expanded this all the way down so that you can see the hand. So we have the left hand and the right hand. So we're going to start with the right hand. I'm just going to create empty. All right, and we're going to call this um, equipped item right hand and then we're going to mirror that we're going to create one up top here this will be called equipped item uh, left hand all right so notice that we have um, we have our uh, gizmos for each of these okay um, so in particular notice that the right hand gizmo is pointing down while the left hand gizmo is pointing up. That's fairly significant. Uh, while the, the vertical component of both gizmos is still pointing the same way. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, now let's, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come over to our weapons and we will drag out one of the weapons. Let's do, let's do a goblin bone ax. I haven't seen one of those yet. Boom. Okay, well, where is it? All right, so if we press F to zoom in, we see that that does exist. Okay, it does exist, but what happened? All right, well, it's very small is what happened. See, the root on Cinti's default characters has a scale of 0 0.01. All right, so they're fixed scale character prefabs. So if I look here at the fantasy characters I have imported them in the prefabs we have fixed scale characters all right these have the character scale set to one um, but if, if you're dealing with just their regular characters their scale is 0 0.01 so what we have to do is we have to take our game object our hand to the equipped item and we're just going to set the scale to 100 so that counters the that counters the uh, scale of the root we're going to do that to our left hand as well. So we do not scale the objects, okay? Instead, we scale the game object that is going to hold the um, the weapon, so we don't have to worry about it. So basically, so that counters the transform. Now, if we look here at our bone axe. It is um, uh, not uh, rotated properly. So again, don't modify the weapon. Instead, modify the equipped item game object. We're just going to hit the rotator button here, all right? And so the first thing we might think about doing is rotating the weapon up, all right? Like this, all right? So we see we're rotating, we're making a, a negative, basically a negative 90 degree rotation, okay? Now we'd like to rotate the, the weapon um, so that the blade points away from the body. So we're going to click here, we're going to rotate it this way. Um, so notice that as soon as I did that, Right, the Y and Z axis rotations changed to 90 and negative 90. Okay, um, and then as I started this rotation, 
all right, it's coming closer to zero. So we're actually rotating it back to zero. And we have a Y and Z rotation, okay? Now, look at the position of the object, all right? It's up on the wrist. So what we need to do is slide it into the palm. So we'll move it down a little bit and then into the palm so that the weapon is now appears like it's in the hand, right? And so we're, we're at 9.5 and 1.7 there. Okay, so now the item appears like it's in the hand of our character. And if we run this and change to the character set, all right, can actually click through and you can see all the various characters holding the weapon. All right, so it's working. Yay. All right, so how do we do the left hand? Uh, well, the easiest way to get started is to uh, take the right hand's transform and copy the component and then go to the left hand and paste the component. Okay, notice that the it moved up the arm though. All right, so that's because our uh, object is rotated differently. So if we just change the X and Y values to negative values, so change the signs of those numbers, then we can, where our weapon's at, we can drag in, let's see, how about a great sword? We can drag a great sword in and equip it on our left hand. And oh, look at that, it's backwards, right? So come back to our game object and we're gonna change the sign on our y-axis rotation. We don't actually have to change the sign on the z-axis rotation, just the y-axis rotation. And now we have an equipable object on our right hand. There it is.